Robometrix now presents videos on entirely different topics in this playlist. The designing of a gearbox. Starting with the speeds, we have 5 different speeds available to create a gearbox. 6 speed engine, 9 speed, 12 speed, 14 and 18 speed. The structural formula for designing each of these gearboxes is given over here. So if we look over here, we have a unit called X and a unit called Y, where X will be the number of gears and Y will be the interval of speeds. So according to the arrangement, we can have a number of combinations to achieve the final stage. For instance, in this 6 speed engine, I can have two types of combination, 3, 1, 2, 3 and 2, 1, 3, 2. Similarly, for 9 speed, I can have only one combination that is 3 number of gears with one interval and then 3 number of gears with the speed variation of 3. For 12 speed, I can achieve this ratio by 3 different combinations. So 3 into 2 that is 6, 6 into 2 that is 12, so 12 speed. Similarly for 18 speed, again I have 3 different combinations, 3 into 3, 9, 9 into 2 that is 18. Here the number outside the bracket is the number of gears, so the final speed which we will be needing. So which one do we choose? Uh, according to the rules, the best efficiency that we will get is when the value of x is in the descending order. So uh, for instance in the 12 speed gearbox the value 3 2 2 is in the descending order so I will be choosing this while designing the gearbox until or unless it is specified in the question otherwise uh, exception over here is a 14 speed gearbox this will be achieved by making a 18 speed gearbox with 4 overlapping speeds as you solve questions you will come to know about the 14 speed special case. Next we have a number of formulas for the basic operations. Nz by Ni is equal to phi to the power z minus 1. So Nz is the final speed given in the question and Ni is the initial speed or the minimum speed. The speeds are available on page number 7.20 in the design data book compiled by PSG College of Technology. The basic criteria we have to select when choosing the input speed for each stage is this one. The maximum speed divided by the input should be less than or equal to 2 and the minimum speed divided by the input should be greater than or equal to 1 by 4 or 0.25. If this case doesn't work, we can jump on to case 2 also but just choose this rarely. Stick with case 1 itself. Case 3 is never to be taken. When we jump to the questions, it will ask three things, ray diagram, kinematic arrangements and the number of teeth. All the three I will be calculating in the subsequent videos. So on page 7.20, we have a tabular column with four different columns and a number of rows. Selection of which number is required will be told according to the question that is involved. We just have to keep in mind th these three points that the decimal can be removed from any of the numbers. So for example, a number is written 1.80, I can take it as 180 or 0.180 or anything. Zero can be added on the right side. That is uh, the number 100, this can be written as 100, 1000, 10,000, anything. So from point 0.2, we can judge that the first row and the last row are the exactly same thing. So we will be choosing only one of them each time. We will be looking at the question for a 9 speed gearbox. So the question states draw the kinematic arrangement and ray diagram for a 9 speed gearbox having output speeds ranging from 56 to 900 rpm. As the formula states n final upon n initial is equal to phi to the power z minus 1. Here the z value would be 9. So I get phi as 1.415. Therefore after basic multiplication and the, uh, from the reference of the previous video I know that I have to convert this 1.415 as the multiplication of the phi values present on page 7.20. So I see in the third column 
if I multiply 5 is equal to 1.12 into 3 times, I get the value as 1.40, which is quite close to the value of 5 I am getting from the formula. Here, I see that 56 is present in the column and 900 is also present in the same third column. 56 is written as 5.60. The decimal can be removed and the zero can also be removed from the right side. And 900 is given as 9.00. So this, after removing the decimal, I get the value as 900. Here I have had a cube of 1.12. Therefore, I'll be skipping two values and taking the third value now. So after 56, my next value is 63 and then the next is 71. I'll be skipping these two and then taking value 80. Similarly, I'll be skipping 90 and 100 and then taking the value 112. Continuing this procedure by skipping two values, finally I'll be getting these speeds which have been underlined. The final speed here being 900. Let's come to the ray diagram now. The ray diagram is drawn in such a way that the structure formula is 3, 1, 3, 3. 3, 3 means 9 gearbox. That is 3 into 3, that is 9. Now we know that we have to satisfy two equations for the maximum, minimum and the input criteria. Looking at the structure formula, my first speed would be 56. After skipping three intervals, I will be selecting my next speed as 160 and three intervals again, I will be selecting my speed as 450. So I got three speeds from the structural formula as 56, 160 and 450. Minimum would be 56 and the maximum speed for this step would be 450. The input speed is selected in such a way that it should be greater than the half of these speeds in between 56 and 450. So I will be directly skipping 80, 112 and 160 and testing the conditions for the speed 224. I see that by putting into the formula, both the conditions are coming satisfied. Therefore, I will be selecting the input speed as 224. Now I have to do is join these speeds 224 with 56, 224 with 160 and 224 with 450. Coming to the next step, I have 3 outside the bracket and 1 inside the bracket or 1 interval and 3 speeds. So my speeds would range from 224, 315 and 450. The last input speed is always taken as the maximum value which is present. So that would be 900. Now I will be joining 900 with the speeds 224, 315. 450. So my diagram would look something like this as of now. Next I have to make the combinations with these three speeds. Taking the base as 224 to 56, I will be joining 315 to 80 and 450 to 112. Next taking the baseline as 224 to 160, I will be getting two more speeds from 315 to 224 and 450 to 315. Next my base reference would be the line 224 to 450. So the speeds I will be getting is 315 to 630 and 450 to 900. This will result in the completion of ray diagram for 9 speed gearbox looking something like this. Next, we will be making the kinematic arrangement of the gearbox obtained. So, I had two input shafts that is 900 and 224 and one output shaft. So, I will be drawing three lines over here. As I know from the structural formula, I have 3 into 1 and 3 into 3. Looking at the number outside the bracket, I have to make three pair combination two times. One for this and second for this part. So the combination would look something like this for the input speed 900 connected to the motor and the second pair for input shaft 224 would be drawn like this. This will finally result in the output of the gearbox. As I see here, if I 
make the numbering of each of these gears i'll be getting 12 different gears but as a result i'll be getting only nine speeds ranging from 56 to 900 as shown in the ray diagram in the next video we'll be designing a 12 speed gearbox stay tuned robometrics